Welcome back to my channel. So recently, my channel reached 100 subscribers. Well, I know it's not much, but it's a good start. So thanks everyone for subscribing. And if you already are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification for all the updates on my channel. So let's get started. If you remember, I bought a Dell XPS 15 7590 a few weeks back and the configuration was not enough for me to do the work. The model that I ordered had only 16 GB of RAM and only 512 GB of SSD, which is not quite enough. So I already ordered 32 GB of RAM and also 2 TB of SSD. So this is the SSD that I bought. But unfortunately, by the time I record this video, the RAM that I ordered did not deliver on time. So I only can show you how to replace the SSD, but it's not that hard to replace the RAM. I will show you where the RAM slots go. This is how you can upgrade your RAM card and your SSD in the Dell XPX 7590. Coming up. Before continuing, you should have the T5 screwdriver as well as the Phillips screwdriver. And please make sure that you have the correct sizes because otherwise your screws will get damaged and you will never be able to open the lids ever again. So make sure that you have the correct screwdriver with you. And also do not push too much force when you are opening the screws because then also it will get damaged it happened to me so I had to put a lot of effort to take the screw out so make sure that you put the proper amount of force when you take the screws out last but not the least this yes it's a straightforward process but things can go wrong so please do things at your own risk So I have uh, the Samsung SSD, so let's get started. And all these things are done now, but we need to remove these two screws. They are normal Phillips screws. Oh yeah, it's a it's a automatic lock, so you have to kind of uh, unlock it by like rotating the screws. Yeah, it took me some time to realize that. Yep, there you go. So here we have the battery, the RAM cards, the two fans, the heating system and here we have the SSD. So now what we are going to do is replace the SSD because replacing the RAM is pretty much straightforward. But most of all, first of all, I will um, disconnect the battery supply just in case.
okay now we are safe so we have to remove this screw oh yeah so there it is we took it out so my friends this is the SSD and it has some adhesive on top I think it's the cool tent so we are gonna need it when we get the new one so I'm gonna put it right here until I get this thing out so this is uh, Samsung 970 Evo SSD 2 terabytes and this is supposed to have very high read and write speeds so let me get this thing out and put it here can you imagine it's 2 terabyte 2 freaking terabytes I mean when I was a kid we used to have this large USB drives with only 128 megabytes time flies so it's pretty straightforward you make sure that you match the the pin format here I mean definitely you cannot plug it upside down because then it will not match the pin pattern so it's, it's straightforward you put it here and put it underneath and it kind of hangs in with a 15 degree angle so you have to put it the screw and finish the job but before that I will get the adhesive from this one more like the cool tent and make sure it's a bit uh, slimish so I put it like this and make sure it covers the the entire SSD and the chipset you go and if you want to try this do it in your own risk I mean I'm not responsible for whatever happens then push it back and screw it back that's it done so replace this RAM it's pretty straightforward there are two pair like pairs of pins you simply push them apart and then the RAM pops out so for now I'm using two modules of 8 gigabytes of RAM but make sure when you buy a new RAM it matches the frequency for now it has 2666 megahertz and when you buy a new one make sure that the frequencies match of the both modules so these two modules should match the their frequencies otherwise it won't work so you get the new one just imagine now these are the new ones you take them and this label inside or it will not match so you simply plug it in and you hear the clip clipping sound and slowly that's it that's pretty much it so now you install the SSD and make sure you screw it properly install your new RAM two modules and don't forget to plug the battery in otherwise of course it won't work and we are ready to go in case you need to replace the wireless now it has killer next generation Wi-Fi 6 supported um, module it's here right here you can simply remove it as well if you want but I hope they fix the previous 
issues they had with the, the Wi-Fi chip. Now it's said to be good, but I will also let you know in case it, it fails. So in case you also need to replace the Wi-Fi module, it's right here. So let's get things closed up. Place it and press it firmly. And I'm going to start with where I finished off. It's this two Phillips screwdrivers. Before you begin, make sure that you have a bootable Windows 10 USB drive or external DVD drive with um, Windows 10 ISO burned in. But this is pretty straightforward. You download the tool from Windows um, or Microsoft website and simply uh, run it to get the Windows 10 bootable USB drive. And now everything is done so only thing left is to plug this in and install windows 10 and i will do it so that's how you upgrade your ram card and the ssd of dell xpx 15 7590 one small but very important note is when you buy ram modules make sure that they have the same frequency for example the ram module that i used had 2666 megahertz each so if you have two different frequencies yeah either one of the modules or can be two of the modules won't work so make sure that you have the correct frequencies and also it's advised to use two ram modules rather than one single ram module for example i'm using 16 gigabytes two ram modules rather than getting one single 32 gigabytes of uh, RAM, it increases the read and write speeds because now it's uh, using the two RAM modules in parallel. So it has slightly improved performance. So just note that. If you want to see more videos, not just the Dell XPS 15, but many other things, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and also hit the bell notification button for all the updates of my channel. So. See you guys in the next one. Have a nice day.